path that these seducing spirits can bring you in. For example, the seducing spirits can also seduce you into gossips and untamed tongue. Uh, when a lot of us are seduced into the uh, dimension of gossips and untamed tongue, it does not start like gossip. It does not start like, you know, is the element of untamed tongue. It, it starts as if, you know, we, we are just talking. It's just, we're just having a, 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 an innocent chat. But bit by bit, uh, you will find yourself drifting into dimensions of gossip and untamed tongue that you never heard. Number three, you can also be seduced into false doctrine. You can be seduced into error. You can be seduced into teachings of demons. You, you can find yourself teaching and believing error or destructive heresies that, that you end up even denying the Lordship of Jesus Christ uh, and bring, uh, you know, swift destruction on yourself. Number four, you can be seduced into doctrine of demons or doctrine of devils. Uh, seducing spirits can seduce you into error. They can seduce you into error. They can seduce you into delaying activities. Uh, sometimes you, you, you can find that your life has been progressing and advancing at a very high kingdom speed. But then all of a sudden you find yourself now in the middle of things that are delaying you. From nowhere, you find that, you know, there are things that are delaying you unnecessarily. Uh, and these kind of things scream for your attention. You must know a seducing spirit has visited you. Um, there are people who start their work with God very well and, you know, it, it is looking all good. But all of a sudden, they find themselves delayed by something they don't understand. They don't understand what delays you because what delays you might not necessarily be natural or normal. It could be the work of uh, seducing spirits. Number seven, you can be seduced into things that waste time. Seducing spirits. They don't just seduce us into false doctrine or into error only. But sometimes you can be brought into or you can find yourself battling things that waste your time. Um, if, for, say, for example, you made a plan that I will be uh, having my time of devotion from 6 o'clock, you could find yourself that by 6 o'clock something just come to waste your time. You can find that uh, from uh, the time that you have set to do something, uh, something comes and, you know, waste your time. So seducing spirits also work together with wasters of time. So watch it when your time of devotion is being wasted on something. Is 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 not the work of God. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's not the will of God to have your moments of devotion uh, being wasted by something else. You can also be seduced into false burden. I've spoken to you a number of times about false burdens and false callings and 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 and, and, and you know the kind of burdens that all of a sudden comes upon us and it feels like you know this is God. It feels like this is this is this is what God is leading me to do, but only to discover later that a seducing spirit has created a false calling and a false burden and it causes you to, to to carry that burden as if is the burden from the Lord. And when you start to carry that burden, uh, in the beginning of it, it feels like is this is God. It feels like, uh, you know, the Lord is into this. It feels like the Spirit of the Lord uh, has put that in your heart. But guess what happens, my friends? All of a sudden, or along the way, you find yourself left alone in the bush or left alone in the middle of nowhere and that passion, that burning, that desire, that fire you heard initially is all gone. So these seducing spirits works like that. They create false kingdom burdens and leave you all alone in the woods. So you find yourself now 
uh, the calling now that you felt initially has grown has gone dry and it, it feels very empty in the inside uh, it, 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 it the reality starts to strike that actually that was a false burden that you shouldn't have carried so they create false burden and bring you into it and 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 mislead you and and cause you to walk in the path of inaccuracy number nine seducing spirits can seduce you and mislead you into wars that you are not graced for you can be led into wars that you are not graced for you can carry uh, you know the elements of spiritual warfare or kingdom activities that they push you into kingdom activities that you are not graced for you are not called for or not necessarily called only but you also don't have the grace for you don't have the grace for so when you don't have grace for something when you don't have grace for something make sure that you are not going to be led into activities that need the grace you don't have activities that needs the grace you don't have it's very dangerous to be led into those positions don't fight the war you are not graced for that's why when david in the book of first samuel chapter 21 um david asked or inquire of the lord uh, a number of times he inquire of the lord a uh, number of times with regard to certain wars that he felt he he was led to you know to engage um uh, uh, that is in first samuel chapter 23 not 21 sorry he felt that he is uh, uh, carrying the burden to save the city of keila when the philistines have raided the city of keila and they were looting the threshing you know the threshing floors and when david wanted to go in there to save these people he inquired of the lord should i go in and you know rescue these people and then the lord uh, uh um, answered and gave him a go ahead that you can go in and and rescue these people you can go in and um, save these people but what is more dangerous is that uh, when you go into wars that you are not graceful when you go into wars that you are not graceful you'll find yourself carrying burdens that you you you, you do not necessarily have the grace to, to 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 handle them to carry them to handle them to carry them so ensure that every time you are to go into um, um, uh, the kingdom activity you carry the grace for that activity because you can carry the burden that has been created by seducing spirits. You can carry the burden that has been created by seducing spirits. Watch, watch, watch what burden um, uh, are you carrying. Uh, number 10, you can be seduced into the letter only without the spirit. Remember, Paul says that the letter kills, but it is the spirit that gives life. Uh, it is, it is, it is, it is the spirit of God that breathes life into us. It is the Holy Spirit that ensures that the letter that we are reading, meaning the written word, there is, there is life that is generated into that. There is, you know, uh, the breath of God generated into the scriptures that we are teaching and reading. Um, sometimes, what what these seducing spirits does is that they will seduce you to a point where you ignore the dimension of the Holy Spirit and fall in love with the letter only. Find that you are only running with the letter or the scriptures that do not necessarily have life behind them. So they wouldn't mind you to have the letter, but they will deny you to embrace the dimensions of the Holy Spirit because they don't want you uh, uh, to carry both dimensions. So be very careful when you start to neglect the dimensions of the Holy Spirit. Be very careful when you start to neglect the dimensions of the Holy Spirit and only start to pursue the letter only. The letter kills. 
The letter kills. It is the spirit that gives life. It is the spirit that gives life. So you can be seduced into pursuing scriptures only and take for granted the dimensions of the, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, take for granted the dimension of uh, the Holy Spirit, which is meant to supply life into what you're reading and find that you are only carrying uh, the letter. That is in the book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, chapter three, not two, chapter two, chapter three, verse six. Uh, Paul talks about the letter and the spirit. So it is the spirit that gives life. It is the spirit that uh, breathes life into the scriptures that we are reading. So when you find yourself in a position where you are now only pursuing the letter and leaving behind the dimensions of the spirit you 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 will be my friend you will be um, a victim of seducing of spirits uh, so watch that watch what you are pursuing between the letter and the spirit and we want you to the lord desires you to pursue both number 11 you can be seduced into the life of imbalances you can be seduced into the life of extremes. You find that you are overemphasizing one element over different or other elements that you're supposed to be uh, uh, emphasizing as a believer. Uh, looking at the book of Exodus chapter 3 and 4, you read of the narrative where Moses encounters God in Mount Horeb. And the Bible is very clear that uh, Moses encountered the bush which was burning, but it was not consumed. And over and over, I've taught you that uh, the bush, which was on fire, but not necessarily consumed, um, reveals to us the life of balance. Reveals to us the life of balance. The life of balance, brothers and sisters, is very important. It is not the will and the plan and the desire of God to find yourself brought into the life of imbalances. God does not desire you to have a kingdom journey of uh, extremes and, and not necessarily balance. God desires to see people who are balanced. So it is the plan and the desire of God to have balanced earthly life and balanced spiritual life. So when you find that you are now becoming in, in you know a person who is not balanced in these dimensions, you are you are possibly becoming the victim of seducing spirits they are seducing you into imbalances um, sometimes we number 12 sometimes we are seduced into the life of dryness and worship of information you can be a believer who is so dry but so full of information you can be very dry you can be a believer who lacks depth you can be a believer who lacks the life of the spirit and 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 have no uh, 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 life of the spirit you can be a believer who lacks uh, the water of the spirit but at the same time full of information full of information so watch if you're not falling trap of becoming a person who worship information, don't worship information. Don't worship information. Don't be swayed into the life of dryness. Don't be swayed into the life of dryness. Come into the life of the spirit. Come into the life uh, that is balanced life. You carry the truth. At the same time, you carry the spirit. So it's, it's critical, brothers and sisters, that you find that you are a balanced person number 13 you can be seduced into things that you are not grazed for you can be seduced into things that you are not grazed for uh, you 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 you, you I've, I've, I've deliberated these also i think earlier uh, that you can find yourself carrying burdens carrying activities that you, you 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 feel you need to do but you don't have grace for watch it it could be the work of seducing spirits you could be seduced into things and left all alone to face the music and consequences 
you could be seduced into uh, you know uh, starting uh, wars with people starting debates and 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 break uh, relationships that you were not supposed to break and 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 you could be you could be fueled to 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 go all out and cause all manner of you know issues with people and find that you are actually uh, left alone at some stage now to face the music and consequences there are a number of people uh, who find who found themselves um, in, in 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 jail who found themselves out in the cold who found themselves uh, 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 jobless who found themselves uh, relationshipless who found themselves in 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 isolation as a work of seducing spirits they've been seduced to 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 to, to a point of uh, breaking and differing with people that they end up now losing important relationships that God wanted them to have as a work of seducing of spirits. There are people who are in great regrets in life. Um, these were not terrible or bad people, but something seduced them to do what they, 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 they could not do under normal circumstances. My prayer is that, you know, you, you, you should not give certain answers to certain people because you can give certain answers to certain people uh, as, as, as a work of uh, seducing spirits that you find that you give a very harsh answer to someone you give a very terrible answer to someone um, uh, uh, not necessarily being your intention but as a work of seducing spirits they can seduce you to be very harsh to people to a point where you 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 you, you lose the relationships based on how you handled uh, the difference that you had with 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 somebody at a particular point in time, and you then at a later stage uh, left all alone to face consequences. Because what these spirits do is that they influence people to do certain things, and then leave the victim to face uh, the music and face consequences at a later stage. Uh, you can be seduced uh, into taking the wrong path. Uh, this reminds me of the Israelites in the desert that a number of times they they when 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 things were not going their way they will talk about returning to Egypt and all in all we all know that corporately it was not the will of God for these people to return back to Egypt but something kept on seducing them to remember the life of Egypt and desiring to return there. So now if you are an Israelite in the desert during that time and you take the path to return back to Egypt, you will be in the path of inaccuracy. You will be in the path that God did not desire for you to take. So be careful that you are not in the path that God did not desire you to take. If you are Jonah and you are sent to Nineveh and you find yourself um, in the ship that is going to Tarshish, you have been seduced into the in, into the path of inaccuracy or into the wrong path. There is an accurate path that God wants you to take, and that is the path that you should be taking personally. Each one of us has something or a path that God wants you to tread upon. So don't sorry, don't lose the path that god wants you to tread upon and which has been clearly revealed to you there, there there are no ambiguities in terms of that you 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 are very sure that the voice you heard initially it was god but all of a sudden something comes and take you out of that 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 path which god has crafted for you by his voice then you know it is not god doing that it is the seducing spirit. God will not want you to start another mission when the current one is not finished. God will not want you to, 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 to leave what he wanted you to do at the moment unless he never led you to do it in the first place. But if it was God, he will allow you to finish what he wanted you to do for him uh, at that point in time. And then when you are done, he will then move you to another mission to, or to another path. So every time you are led into a new path, when the, correct, the current one is not yet completed, 
you must know something is seducing you into the path of inaccuracy. My prayer is that the grip of seducing spirits in us should 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 be dealt with. We we should be we should be delivered from 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 the power of seducing spirit that we are not seduced into the life of untamed tongue we are not seduced into false burdens we are not seduced into false relationships you know sometimes you know not necessarily romantic relationships but you could also be be seduced into relationships that god never desire or wanted you to have you find that you are now joining and clean cleaving into you know a group of people who are going to take you out of the will of god and and the enemy is very good in terms of misleading us into that because there are always people that are ready to be used by the enemy in that regard so watch your associations and 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 check it out when you are starting to fall so very much in love with certain categories of people that are that are harmful and dangerous to the path that god has created for you watch it because it could be the work of seducing spirits seducing you out of the will of god remember king solomon king solomon started very well king solomon started you know on a very good path but then he married the wives the the, the daughters of the kings around him the daughters of the canaanites and all the people that god has instructed the israelites to 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 um not to relate with but along the way that kind of marriage that those marriages that he had with these women uh, takes took king solomon out of the will of god and caused him to worship idols and caused him to start to follow you know you know you know the gods of the canaanites and so on so be very careful with the kind of covenant you're getting into because you could get into circles that takes you out of sound doctrine be very careful with the friends that, you know, these groups that we share uh, the gospel with, you know, we, we share teachings with and so on and so forth. Majority of us need to watch this because we could end up being in Solomon that actually these cycles takes out of the accurate path that God had always wanted us to walk upon so be very careful with this uh, associations can be used by uh, seducing spirits to seduce you out of solid and sound doctrine out of uh, uh, the path of accuracy out of um, the work of the spirit that the spirit has been uh, dealing you um, dealing with you in terms of in terms of uh, that work so watch that i don't know if 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 you are able to follow what i'm saying but the work of uh, 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 the seducing spirits uh, is, is, is a deadly one because you can find yourself seduced into things. You can find yourself seduced into burdens. You can find yourself seduced into uh, 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 things that you were actually not supposed to be pursuing in the precious name of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right, so that that's the first part of uh, uh, the session that we have today. Let's take a, a five minutes break, and then we just uh, you know drink water. Uh, by quarter to seven, we will come back and do the second session. Thank you so very much, and the Lord bless you. We're coming back at six forty-five, and then we will do the second session.